Hello everybody, this is Garam, and of course I am ignoring reality. Today I thought, what the heck, let's take a look at the Elemental Sham Shams talent tree and see if I can make you the best possible sham that you can be. Let's dig in. 15. Path of Flame, Earthen Rage, and Totem Mastery. Now I did use Earthen Rage for quite some time as it is a wonderful passive proccing damage boost. But finally settled on Totem Mastery as it's going to drop four totems that's going to just make you a better you. You're going to generate Maelstrom every one second, increase the proc chance of overload by your lightning spells by an additional 10%, much more often, increases the overall damage of your Flame Shock by 10%, and generally giving you more haste, and as a Shaman, you can never have too much haste. Come on, guys. Level 30. Gust of Wind, Ancestral Guidance, and Wind Rush Totem. I went with Ancestral Guidance simply so that I could occasionally passively heal myself by just damaging abilities. But you can also get a couple of different sprint techniques here, which is also very useful. So I'm not gonna say any one of these is wildly better than the other, as they all have their uses in various circumstances. 45, Lightning Surge, Earth Grab, and Voodoo Totem. This one, guys, there really is no argument here. Lightning Surge. It is a full AOE stun. That is always useful. Level 60, Elemental Blast, Ancestral Swiftness, and Echo of the Elements. This is really just going to go back and forth between Ancestral Swiftness and Echo of the Elements. I finally went with this one simply because your greatest hit is going to be the Lava Burst. Because most of the time, Lava Burst is a fantastic ability to have off of cooldown. And this is going to let you cast it twice before having to wait. Now each charge will have its own individual 8 second cooldown. That's just a really good skill to have. But I also am not going to downplay how awesome Ancestral Swiftness is. 10% more haste, never really a bad thing. This really just comes down to how you want to play your sham. If Lava Burst is super important to you, Echo. Otherwise, Ancestral. 75, I really like this one as one, it's going to give you a huge amount of Maelstrom, 24, as well as making your next four Frost Shocks super powerful. So, a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, the Primal Elementalist is really awesome, and Elemental Fusion, not so bad. So really, what's the perk of grabbing this one other than what I just said? Well, simply, a lot of Legion dungeons require high mobility. And um, as a caster, that really kind of sucks. You pop out this Ice Fury ability, and you get four really powerful instant cast abilities. So you can throw down a couple of tacks and still get to move around. That way it will not impede your overall damage in a boss fight. You're going to still be really awesome. 90. Elemental Mastery, Storm Elemental, and Aftershock. This is going to come down between Elemental Mastery and Aftershock. Elemental Mastery is a huge haste boost on a 2 minute cooldown. But that haste boost lasts for 20 seconds. Guys, a lot of fights are not going to last 20 seconds. So this is going to make you really awesome for most of, if not all of, an entire fight. The other alternative here is Aftershock, which passively refunds 25% of all Maelstrom spent on your abilities. So if you don't typically use a lot of your Maelstrom generating abilities, then I would suggest you go after Aftershock so that you can get most of that back. Otherwise, if you have a really decent spell rotation where you can keep your Maelstrom relatively high, I would say Elemental Mastery. This one just comes down to how you play your Sham. Level 100, Ascendance, Lightning Rod, and Liquid Magma Totem. Lightning Rod really is kind of your best option for your single target and cleave damage, and it's of course passive, so you don't really have to kind of juggle another cooldown effect. But, if you don't mind throwing another cooldown in, Ascendance is going to be the other one you should really consider. 15 seconds, you are amazingly powerful on a 3 minute cooldown. So, if you want to make your Sham pop Super Saiyan, Ascendance is great. I hope I was able to kind of give you guys a little bit more information on these abilities, and 
help you kind of dial in the damage of your sham. Please throw me up a thumbs up or a share if I was able to help you out. And guys, of course, thank you for watching.